Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are talking about Jira Administrator. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be getting into something really important which matters a lot to every team member of an Agile team. That is priority. The priority basically determines that what will be the sequence of tasks and activities in order to be performed within a particular sprint or maybe within a particular project. So when using Jira, all your tasks will be determined with a particular priority to decide that what activity will happen in what sequence. And that's where we are talking today about customizing these priorities, making use of the customization option, as well as scheme, which is a priority scheme to determine if I can make use of a different priority scale to be determined for a particular project within Jira or not. So today, let's explore a little more about how to make use of customized priorities within our projects as a part of Jira Administrator. As a part of this tutorial, we are getting into the next segment of Jira Administrator talking about the priority customization. In this tutorial, you will cover customizing the priorities for a particular project and priority schemes to be applied back. In order to understand about priorities, of course, let's understand a quick priority definition that priority is something which defines the importance or the sequence in which this particular activity will be processed. Of course, when you have multiple activities or multiple tasks to be performed, you make use of priority to differentiate between the sequence of use or sequence of processing those tasks. Of course, when as you task is marked with the highest priority will be the first one to be processed first compared to the lowest one. Now, by default, when you make use of a particular instance or a template of project, you do get this kind of uh, issue list or priority list associated to any issue types. So right now, if I go back to my Jira administrator and come to this priority section, I find the list of all the priority options which can be used in my project right now. Let's go back to our project and when you are creating a new field, you do find a project priority option. I think this is our custom field, so it is not visible. Let's go to the task. And then you have a priority section here at the bottom. And just drop down here to see that these are the five options which are visible to us. That is highest, high, medium, low, lowest. Now, in order to customize this option, this is what we are looking forward to understand today. If you want, you can add a new priority as well, which you are willing to have in your project, which could be like customizing it to further levels or maybe using different conventions like priority one, priority two, priority three. So if you want, you can edit these existing priorities or if you want, you can delete some of them. Or if you want, you can add your own by deleting all of them. So these all three options are possible when you have the access to Jira administrator. So let's try with one of these features because probably I might not be creating everything here in a short tutorial. So let's create a uh, delete some of them. For example, my organization makes use of a three scale measurement for the priority and I don't need the highest or the lowest. So just click on delete here as for the highest and confirm it because it will always ask you for the confirmation and then delete the lowest one and confirm it. To delete and that's it now you have only three of them let's go back to our project and recreate this and pick up a new create option here and let's create a task and let's see what do we get here can you see that now we don't have the five options we only have three options so this is what the priority option will do. But what if different projects makes use of different standards? For example, the support team says we use like one, two, three, four as a number system, number scale to represent the priority. Other team says that we make use of high, medium and low. Or some team says that I make use of severity, uh, up, uh, severity low, severity high or something like that. So they have different naming conventions to represent the priority for their task. That's where the priority schemes comes into picture. So all we need to do is go back to the priority schemes and create a new priority scheme, which will be specific to your project. So click on add priority scheme. 
and just add whatever you want to include in this for example high medium and low so probably you can create more and you know customize your own and you can make use of it so we generally do not recommend deleting that we actually did that but we should not be doing and only include in a new scheme what you want to include and leave the other two outside so let's go back to the priority one again and uh, let's uh, recover what we did so let's pick it as highest and uh, I can URL or select any image which is visible to you so let's go with the double one this is for the highest click on add and let's add one more so like this you are understanding how to add something to the priority list and this is the lowest so we are covering good option here so click on select image to select a particular image that's the lowest click on add and we're ready. we are done so, okay now we have made use of it if you want you can definitely differentiate in the colors as well which you can do it by editing just click on edit and you can make use of a different color scale for that for example blue and say update that's it now the color represents here so now we come back to our priority schemes and now we say that I'm going to create a new priority scheme and name it as my priority scheme sorry and uh, just include the one which you wanted for example high medium and low so this is the other way of doing with help of the scheme because I don't want this to be hampered in all the projects so generally if I do the first step one which I did by deleting the fields I actually impacted all the projects throughout my Jira server instance but right now what I'm doing is specific to a particular project by creating a new scheme so when, whenever you want to apply this to organization wide you can just uh, do this directly in the default configurations or if you want to do, do something for especially a particular project then create a new scheme and apply that scheme to the project that's it so click on add and my new scheme is ready to be used so here it is done my priority scheme now click on associate and select the project which all you want to apply so right now I have only one project otherwise all your projects will be listed here and that project will apply this new scheme so click on next and that's it now if I go back to my project just move to another type of uh, issue and what do I see here I only see three options okay so Remember one thing team, if you want to apply something common to a cross organization, make use of directly editing the priorities option. If you want to apply something specific to a particular project, then only create a new scheme and associate that to a particular project. Now that's what is more important to be aware of when working with these things. Okay, so that's all from this particular tutorial team talking about the priorities and customizing that. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to assist you and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.